New at 6 tonight, it was a scene right off the big screen. A car gets stuck on the railroad tracks as a train is inching ever closer. That's right. This wasn't any action movie. This actually happened in Newcastle County, Delaware. NBC 10's Luann Khan is live in Newark and spoke to some of the people who witnessed this. Luann. This railroad crossing is right off the University of Delaware campus, and when two men say they saw a car stuck on the track, right in that gravel pit you see behind me, they say they tried to come to the rescue, but the train was coming and the car wasn't budging. Next thing you know, ding, 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 ding. Oh, <laughs> Clifford Foss and Sean Brown say they were nervous this wasn't going to have a good ending. It was almost four this morning. For several minutes, they tried to help get this stuck car off the train tracks. You see passenger Christina Johnson outside of the car pushing two, but her cousin Monique Dighton was still in the driver's seat. Police say she'd accidentally turned off New London Road onto the railroad track off West Main Street in Newark. The two waste management workers saw the train coming. And they say Dighton wasn't budging. When we seen the light, I'm like, okay, you need to get out the car. Yeah. I told her four times, and I walked away, and I came back, I said, I can't leave her. So I went back, I said, come on, get out this car. She stepped one foot out. By the time she got the second foot out, that train came like three seconds and wiped the whole car out. Watch it again in slow-mo. This is what's left of the car. The video was captured by a surveillance camera outside the Wonderland record shop. How many cars do you think you've seen hit by trains? Twenty. In fact, this store owner says he'll just add it to his collection of 15 videos that he's recorded since 2007. He thinks the crossing is just confusing. It tends to look like road a little bit at night if you're coming over the bump and you're not used to the area. You, it, it could be marked better. Police say the driver was confused and not impaired. She didn't want to comment, and the passenger told me they were not rescued. Indeed, the two would-be heroes say they were not thanked for their efforts you see on camera. And they see things differently. She probably would have sat there a little bit longer and said, oh, i got time to get my pocketbook. It would have been too late. And again, everyone got out of that safely. I just got off the phone with a CSX train official who says they're going to take a look at this crossing to see what's going on here. Live in Newark, Delaware, Luann Khan, NBC10 News.